is BJU Math 2 that I will be showing you today. Um, Rico is almost done with his Abeka um, Arithmetic 1. And um, so we will be starting on this. We will actually, I'm actually going to be um, probably crossing them, like letting him do like uh, two worksheets from Abeka and then one from here. So that while he's finishing up a Becca, he can already get started on this because um, right now he's just doing really, really well with a Becca. And I don't think it's enough for him because he'll, he can fly through one lesson in a matter of seconds. So this is just to add a little bit more for his math. Right here we have tests. These are just all of the tests that come with the BJU Math 2. I do notice it doesn't have a lot of color to it like Abeka does. Abeka has very, they have like the pictures and they're all colored whereas this looks like it's mostly black and white for the test. And then this is the student's work text. I do like how they have this part here so that when you take the pages out it's easy to grip. Um, if we only worked on the workbook without taking the pages out, then I probably wouldn't like it. But because we do, I take out the worksheet and put it in his work box. I love that. I also like how they have serving God with math. So how everything that they learn goes back to God, no matter what it is, even math. So, um, let me show you the table of contents are here and there are 21 chapters so we have addition facts subtraction facts like I said he already knows these so I'm gonna go ahead and give him those and then you have place value time and calendars addition with two digit two digit numbers subtraction with two digit numbers data customary measurement place value with three digit numbers addition with three digit numbers uh, money, introduction to multiplication, subtraction, multiplication facts, fractions, geometry, place value with four digit numbers, metric measurement, introduction to division, division facts, and math review. Now, honestly, an Abeka first grade math, they probably cover most of these. I know most of these. I know it ends around multiplication facts. So really a lot of this will be review for him. But um, <clears throat> once he is done with this, he will be moving on to, <clears throat> sorry, the teaching textbooks for. Um, since teaching textbooks seems to be a grade level behind. So, but let me show you the pretty, These it does have some color added in. <clears throat> it's different than a Becca, but I, I like it. I think we will like the change. And then once we go from this to teaching textbooks, my plan is to stay with teaching textbooks for math for the rest of um, for the rest of our homeschooling years. So I'm hoping the kids will like it. Um, my first plan was to purchase the videos for the B BJU Math 2, but um, it was just too costly. And especially if he was older and it was something I wasn't confident in, then yes, I would probably get the videos. But it's second grade math, so I decided I can teach him that my own myself. So I have the teacher's edition here. It also comes with a CD-ROM. And I love that it's like this, so I can flip it over if I need to. It has the same table of contents, except it goes in depth, showing you exactly what you're doing on every page. So I do like that. And it says the Christian curriculum with the balanced approach. So it tells you the goals, the methods, the Christian approach, and the benefits. And all of the things that you can use with it. 
And this basically tells you about all of the features of each lesson, the objectives, materials, practice and review, teach for understanding and check for understanding, lesson focus. It says it encourages a biblical worldview. There's a lot of different things. So let's go ahead to the actual lesson. It has this lesson plan overview which is awesome because it has the objectives. Like if you wanna write the objectives on the board for what you will be learning that week, that's pretty cool. And it tells you for each chapter what the objectives are. And then here is chapter one. So <clears throat> it has each lesson and what you will be learning and what the skill focus is here. Okay, then it has the materials, what you will need. I didn't purchase any of the additional, like it has the visual packet. I didn't purchase any of those because we have a lot of these things just from Dollar Tree. And I will just be using whatever I have. So, and they said on the CD, it has a lot of things that you can print out. So I need to check that out. And the student manipulatives packet, I don't have that, but we have our own counters. We have pennies. We have um, a place value kit, and we have the 10 frames. We also have flashcards, so we don't need to purchase that kit. So at the top, it will tell you the chapter information, tell you basically about the chapters and which edition facts to practice for the chapter. And it has a math board here. And it shows you how you're going to introduce the thing. And it has like a cute little story that you're going to read. That goes with the lesson. And this is basically like the answer sheet for their worksheet that they have. So it basically tells you teach for understanding. Guide a discussion about the student's favorite subjects. So, you know, does God want you to learn math? And they'll answer that. Everything in blue tells you exactly what you should say. And everything in red is their answers that they will probably respond with. And then after you do that little lesson, it takes you on to the work text. And it shows you what their work text looks like here. And I like that. So... Now, I don't have to look at his paper. I have my own. And then it has lesson two. So to me, that's a lot in a little bit of page. So that's pretty good size. So let's see. I want to see what the test part looks like. So this is the chapter review. And you're basically just going to be reviewing everything that you've gone over, asking them questions. They'll be doing a chapter review. And then for the chapter test, just says you're going to provide the manipulatives for the students to use as they complete the test. And that's it. Um, now, I don't see... A, I see the notes here, but I don't see an answer key for the test. And there's her hand again. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure, like I said, it's second grade math. So let's see. Yep, I don't see an answer key, but that's fine. I also love these cute little Rikina. <laughs> So the cute little colors on the side is cute. Um, I don't know if they have, let's look in the test one. No, I don't see an answer sheet. They might have the option to purchase one and I might, I probably just didn't get it. Is what I'm thinking. But, um, like I said, it's second grade math. So, oh, you know what? Let's see. Number cards, facts reviews. Okay. Trying to see. Yeah, I don't see any area for the key, but 
Like I said, it's second grade math. I, I will know. And then they have the answers to the, to the actual worksheets on here. So, But so far, so good. It looks like it's going to be fine. It has the teacher's toolkit here. And then it has how to use it here. And so, I like this a note section. I'm hoping this will be good though but so what i will do is um <clears throat> when we get halfway through probably sometime around august or um <laughs> don't mind my miss i gotta do laundry but sometime around the summer i will let you guys know how it's going and um hope you like this video subscribe like the video and we will see you guys in the next one